Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Solutions. My name is Farha Alam and in this tutorial series, we are learning about the BI Publisher Data Modeler in Oracle Fusion. And in today's session, we are going to learn about uh, group level aggregate elements in the data model. So we will see what are group level aggregate elements and uh, um, how do we uh, use or implement in uh, these uh, group level aggregate uh, elements in our data model. So firstly, uh, uh, we should know about this one. So basically group level agreements uh, is, uh, are nothing but uh, uh, these are some predefined uh, functions provided by Oracle which I will show you. So here basically these are the aggregate functions which we have in our uh, Oracle Fusion or BI Publisher Data Model. Um, so we can use these uh, aggregate functions in the data model uh, editor page to perform these aggregate functions like average, count, first, last, maximum, minimum and last we have summary. So these are the functions. So as the name itself self-explanatory that what does these functions basically do but I will explain you what does it do. So average basically calculates the uh, average of all the occurrences of an element so the number of elements we have it will basically uh, uh, calculate the average of all the elements which we have in our data set count it will going to count all the elements which we have in our data set first it will uh, going to display the first element which we have in our data set and last is basically going to display the last element which we have in our data model maximum the it basically it uh, it displays the maximum uh, value which we have in our uh, data set and minimum will going to display the minimum value in the data sets and summary will going to uh, sum all the uh, element or all the groups which we have in our data set so these are basically in the aggregate functions and let's uh, go to the instance and see how do we implement all these functions in our data model. So firstly, we have to create the data model and in order to create data model, we have we require one SQL query, right? So here for time being, I have already prepared my SQL query and this time I am going to use uh, per all assignments uh, M table for my source of data. And this is basically the table from where I am retrieving my data and this is my instance home page let me reach out to there in my BI server go to reports and analytics and click on the browse and catalog option and here we can create our data model so data model is the separate object which is available uh, under the catalog window and here we have to click on this uh, plus icon or new data set and we have to click on sql query and then we have to provide the name for uh, our data set which is going to be assignment data set aggregate functions and the source is going to be application dbhcm and let me copy the query so this is basically my query which is i'm going to copy over here paste it over here and um, basically this query is going to fetch the assignment id person id assignment type number of the assignment action code what is what will be the action code for the assignment assignment name legislation code for which particular uh, legislation this uh, assignment belongs to and this is basically the table from where we are getting our this much of information 
per all assignments underscore aim. Click on OK in order to execute this one. So here my query has been successfully executed as we can see uh, all the attributes have been fetched over here. Now in order to see the records or data we have to click on view data and then view option. So that we will be able to see the data for this one. This is basically the assignment ID, person ID we have, the assignment type, number, action code we have and then assignment name. Last we have the legislation code. In order to see more number of rules we just have to select it and then click on view. So we can see that much number of rows. Now the, it's the time to implement the aggregate function. So firstly I am going to implement okay So here is my data. When I click on the table view, then I'll be able to see the tabular view. Now I am going to implement the first aggregate function over here for the assignment type. So what we have to do, we just have to drag this assignment type from uh, G1 or from parent level to this uh, global level functions area. And then we have to click on this uh, gear icon or setting icon and we have to click on properties option. And here we are going to implement the first aggregate function and here we have to provide the alias name for this one. And here one thing we should keep in our mind is that whatever alias name we have provide over here, it should always be in caps. Otherwise it won't work. So this time I'm going to implement my first aggregate uh, function. So here is the name and display name and function is my first. And on which particular attribute I'm going to implement my this function basically assign on assignment type. Click on OK. Click on view data. Then view. Click on table view. And here I have applied this one for the assignment type first function. So first type is assignment type is basically ET. So it is displaying ET. And uh, when I click on, when I select 50 rows, then here we can see last assignment type is E. So um, the last function should return E. Right, so I just have to drag it, uh, the assignment type over here and then I have to go to properties and select my function over here and provide the alias name which is last and it should be in caps always. Click on OK. View data. Then view. Click on view and here is a last assignment type is E so it, it is returning E over here. Now uh, I am going to implement the count aggregate function and on which attribute I'm going to implement my count function I'm going to take I have included one more attribute uh, in my query which is frequency so I'm going to drag it and drop it over here under global level functions and then I have to go to the properties option and here is basically my count function and function is count click on ok and it will going to count the frequency we have for the assignments click on view data then select the number of rows from here and then click on view and when I click on the table view it will going to display the 
tabular view and basically uh, how many uh, number of frequency I have in my this particular data model we have basically 34 um, frequency and last I'm going to implement maximum and minimum function so I'm going to implement this one on the assignment uh, name I'm going to drag it over here and drop it click on the properties and I'm going to select the maximum and here I have to provide the alias name and it should be in caps always remember this thing always keep this thing in your mind that it should be in caps always click on view data then select the number of rows then click on view click on table view so here we have a maximum uh, number of which system analyst we have the maximum values for the system analyst and if I talk about the minimum one so same uh, function I'm uh, I'm going to implement my this uh, minimum function on the same attribute so that we'll get minimum for this one I'm going to select minimum and I have to provide the alias and display name over here click on ok click on view data select the number of rows click on view then table view then we have minimum uh, number of administrators in the in our data model so this is basically the first la first from first we get et from last we get e from count we get 34 and from maximum we get system analyst and from minimum we get administrator so when i click on export this data so that here we can see when i click on open so that it will return the xml output for this one this is basically one and from this we can generate our rtf pdf ET, e text template whatever template we want to generate we can generate it using this xml data and we will going to see this thing in our later session so this is basically how we can create uh, the aggregate uh, group level uh, elements in our uh, bi publisher data model and all about our today's session if you have any query regarding this one please reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com or www.bisptrainings.com okay so thank you everyone we'll continue in our upcoming session thank you everyone